Update now on a massive dog hoarding case in Chaparral tonight. We're told if the home is not completely cleared by tomorrow, Otero County is moving in to euthanize any remaining dogs. Now, this all began on Friday after the owner, Felix Moriel, was arrested for assault and battery and false imprisonment. We've learned Moriel was also accused of violently assaulting a 70 year old woman. That's when sheriff's deputies found over 200 dogs on the property. Let's get right to ABC 7's Ashley Rodriguez for an update. Ashley? Rick, people who knew Felix Moriel said he had a big heart, so big he couldn't bring himself to get rid of not even one animal at his legally registered dog sanctuary. As a result, the dogs were without food and water and had begun to turn on each other looking for their next meal. These aggressive dogs were immediately put down this week, but that now leaves the others that could face death. This is not right. This is not right. We need to help them. We need to stand up and help these animals. At 804 Alice Marie, the stench of rotting flesh hangs in the air. A look into Felix Moriel's backyard shows you how grim the situation is. Around 30 dogs wait for adoption or death. We're really desperate to get these dogs out of here. I've got a certain amount of time. They gave me 24 more hours. If not, these dogs are going to be euthanized. Randy Wynn says he gained power of attorney over Moriel's affairs about three months ago after he saw the state of Moriel's home and what Moriel considered the Desert Mission Sanctuary for dogs. He's had over 15 or 16 different board members that he would not help let them help him get rid of some of these dogs and adopt them out. We've, got, we've been working with him for years, but he won't work with us. Is it a disguise for hoarding? Does he maybe have a mental issue? Yeah, he he's definitely has a mental issue. Though. The Almogordo Daily News reports Moriel is facing multiple charges, including felony, false imprisonment, and misdemeanors for battery and indecent exposure. As he sits in a jail cell on a $25,000 bond for allegedly assaulting a 70-year-old woman who was attempting to bury a dead dog, his friends try to pick up the pieces. We need to move faster here in this situation because these animals are suffering. Um, there's a lot in there still in the house that have no food, no water. There's still some animals in there that are dead. Um, it, we need to get the ball moving here. We've got to get these dogs out. Volunteers say that these dogs didn't ask to be put in this situation, and now they could die because of it. These dogs are love bugs. Now, I've got one in my vehicle, and no. I can't, I can't, I can't sit back and let these dogs be used in eyes. The volunteers are asking the community for help. Facilities or people that can take just one or two dogs would literally be saving these dogs' lives. And the dogs are gentle. They're very much adoptable. Rick? No,